Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Round 7. And if you'd like to see the layouts on Instagram, it's hashtag 30DSCBL7. And if you'd like to post one there, you can use the same hashtag. And this is a sketch that we're using today. Oh my goodness, I was going to make sure I remembered to do that notebook thing, and I didn't. And apparently I didn't remember the stitches either. I would have done those. And the thing is, I glanced over at the sketch quite a few times. Oh, well. <laughs> um, I'm, the paper I'm using is Millie and June. And I wanted to use it because it was bright and colorful. But I really did not want to use the ephemera that I had to go with it. So I will be using Saturday morning by October afternoon. It's pretty old and I don't have... Well, I do have a lot of brads left, but I don't have a lot of anything else. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of sheets of paper, but they weren't working for my layout, so I wanted to use these colors. And honest, I was planning on using a white sheet of paper for the background, but I changed my mind on that at the very last second, and I've got this light blue, like a powder blue, sky blue, with little teeny tiny hearts all over it. Now, when I first glanced at the sketch, I thought, oh, no, angles again. But then I remembered that these angles weren't too bad because you could use the outside edge and just trim it down like you would for a frame to go underneath a piece of paper. So, yeah, that's what I did. It didn't take long. It wasn't hard, and I lived through it. And since a couple of us in the photos had blue on, I made the blue more predominant. It does have little flowers all over it, but it's not super noticeable because it's tone on tone. And the pictures that I'm scrapping, I can go ahead and tell you about the pictures. They're just in the parking lot of Ryan's. My sister and I used to meet a lot on Saturday mornings and go to Ryan's for breakfast. And if we had grandkids, we'd bring our grandkids with us. Well... We were waiting on her one morning and finally got tired of sitting in the car. It hadn't opened yet, though. And I got out of the car and thought, well, I'm going to take a picture when she gets out. So I did. And then my older grandson there said, well, we have to take a picture of you with us, too. So I got two sets of photos instead of just one for a change. And see that big stack of pancakes? Well, I have saved that to use on this one, well, I think I took two or three pictures that day where that youngest grandson there was eating pancakes at my house, and he was licking the plate. Yeah, he likes the syrup that well. He likes pancakes that well. At the time, no matter where we went, if he could order pancakes, he would. So, of course, at Ryan's for breakfast, that's what he had, pancakes. Every time, non-fail, pancakes. And McDonald's would have pancakes all day. So, instead of ordering a Happy Meal, he would have pancakes. But, yeah, so I used it on this one. I know I'll probably regret it unless I find some other pancakes to use. If I ever get around to scrapping the other pictures, but, yeah, I couldn't resist putting them on here. So it says, come and get it, and then it says, Jake's favorite. I used the Happy Life stickers for my title, and it says our Saturday morning tradition at Ryan's. And I'm going to add breakfast, well, right there, add breakfast to it, too. Now, at first, I wasn't going to add the breakfast, but then I seen the sticker in the side. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And because, you know, I figured that, you know, Saturday morning, you know, it's breakfast, but it looked good. And I, I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. And I do like it. I'm going to add some blue behind it as a layer. And I like it even better then. And I'm putting one of my brads on this layout. It's the one with a fried egg. And I do have two packages of brads or three, maybe three. And a couple of packages of the flare. And I haven't used any of the flare, but they're all rusted. 
The brads are fine, but the flare are all rusted. I did fuss with that little cluster down there for a while. That ticket that I cut out says table four, and it leaves one, two, three, or four, and you circle it. Well, I picked up the wrong pen. They're both gray, and I got the wrong one. I went to use it, and it was like a, well, it was a brush. And so it left a big mark around the number four, and I didn't like that. So I was trying to figure out ways to cover that up. And then I kept thinking I need something there because it says table four. So I got a four out and put it on here. And yeah, it made a little more sense then. But yeah, it took me a few minutes to mess with that just to get it all covered up in the way I wanted it. Well, maybe not the way I wanted it because I would have liked that pen to work correctly. But I was more happy with, let's put it that way, more happy with. I decided to add some tabs to my photos, and they say hot off the griddle, scrambled eggs, and then I'm going to have documented. And the one down there on the right that took me so long, it says, ha, 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 French toast, table for four, start the day off right. The little sticker that I just put on there, it says, this was wonderful, and this was a happy day is going to go right below it on the pink one. And I'm getting close to getting done on my layout. Yeah, but I am going to make a change before I'm done. So, yeah, the pictures aren't going to stay the way they are. I'm going to think I'm done with the layout and even have my enamel dots on there. And then finally, although I was thinking about it the entire video, straighten the photos. Just so you all know, I miss going to Ryan's for their breakfast buffet. And like I said, it was like a tradition thing. A couple of times a month we would meet and go. And I'd have different grandkids, not always the same one, and sometimes more. But uh, on rare occasion, it would just be me and my sister. But yeah, I do miss that. Oh, and I did use that tornado sticker. Yeah, I, I put it on foam tape. But I thought, I'll probably never use that. Well, I've had it several years now, and guess what? It went on a layout. Oh, wasn't it first thing? That was like the first thing I put on here. Yeah, the sketch has a big star, and I didn't really plan on putting a star on this layout, so I thought, I need to put something <laughs> in that area somewhere. So I thought, well, I'll put the tornado. And then I seen the hand flipping the pancake. Well, it had to go on there, too. But I am happier with the photos being straight on here they were in the original but since theirs was more well I think they're square and mine were longer I thought maybe I could follow the lines just a little bit of the pyramid looking thing just a little bit not very much but I just didn't care for it every time I looked at it I think should I move them or not finally I broke down and did it but if you look down there below you'll see the link to Christie's Facebook group and Christina's Redefine Creative, where she'll be doing a live video every day. And everybody else that is doing this, the 30 days of sketches. And I think this, I think it's day 10. Yeah, day 10. Whew. That means there's 20 more days of this collaboration. So yeah, lots and lots of inspiration coming up. And join in. Be sure to join in and put your layout on Facebook or Instagram. But if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. If you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.